Ja, I don't really want to press this because the paint is actually kind of still wet. She wanted to show you guys tomorrow, but there you guys can see it is working. Yo guys, so it is the next day um, after we attempted to do the the fire extinguisher release release i would call it anyway so it is actually two days from that day got kind of busy yesterday so i wasn't able to actually film i did do a few things um off camera i'll just show you guys as well um a few things that i've actually um encountered was that i wasn't really happy with how i sprayed um the how can i say the black holder of the releaser and then also the handle part the handle part uh, as you guys know was black so i had to spray it red okay so while I, I was spraying it red i put a thick layer on it because i wanted it to create like a shiny um, color or a better shape or a different shape to what it was actually so because i did that um the, the paint was really thick on it and every time i touched it it kind of left the fingerprints it still kind of does it right now also the weather wasn't pretty good so it couldn't set um i'm gonna install the black part that runs into the white betray that is a little bit better or easier to do and then i'll just push the red um uh, the cabling it goes right down and then just pull it from that side um trying to not actually touch the little lever or handle so yeah that is what we have planned for today and then also i just wanted to show you guys um i did get um another a list of these stickers or a four page of these stickers so i can basically add this one and then also i did collect um my ticket or my sticker for um the bragging rights event happening this saturday at kilani um the sticker basically i get to put on my car it also allows me to have one passenger however i will not be having a passenger because i will be driving the car with without the seating and then um also what we do also have planned for today is um i don't know if you guys saw those clips that usually broke so i actually did some research on to find um of those clips again those clips are extremely difficult to find a lot of owner eg owners cannot find them i asked my cousin even he couldn't assist me he did recommend um that i should actually contact honda i've contacted honda and they charge 55 rand uh, per a clip i'll just put up um, what the usd is for it as well um unfortunately they said that they can only it takes about three working days so i'd only get it on monday so for the event it obviously won't um be ready Okay, so this is what the lever looks like right now. I don't know if you guys can see it has a shiny effect. You guys can also see I kind of shaped it in a different way. Uh, see if you guys do see that little teach over there. Be in mind there was a little car sign which I had to sand away. Um, I'm also going to put a stick on that says pull. Then this is um, the holder basically. So this looks a little bit better than yesterday or sorry two days ago and then these are the clips so like i mentioned this this little clip broke over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this part which stays actually in uh, the tray and then i'm basically just going to glue this on top of here and then that basically clips in just like that um and this will basically just go straight in let me just show you an example quickly so this will basically just go straight into here and then it'll work this is also the sticker that i fitted and obviously i'm going to put um the the battery uh quill switch sticker on this side this is also what um, this little button looks like here you guys obviously remember that little mistake i did there it doesn't look bad like i mentioned if i do 
anyway if i do um put some silicone over here um you won't really notice that as much and then another thing i just wanted to show you guys is um if you guys do see this at the event be in mind this is something that i am going to do however time was a factor so i couldn't kind of get to it um if you you guys might see i'm going to put a little stick over here you guys might find it a little funny it's basically going to be a plug um saying maybe the channel's um, name over here and then obviously to be continued because this is something that i definitely want to fix and that i am going to fix so you guys don't have to worry about this um it does kind of give it kind of character um if you guys are following the channel you guys know exactly what will what has happened here so yeah it kind of gives um the car character um, but this is something that i am going to sort out as well and then also um just wanted to mention to you guys um some of you guys that i followed the channel in the beginning i had a external shine banner over here so the owner of external shine is a good friend of mine we have linked up a few times before um so he did mention that um i can maybe bring the car on, on friday which is a day before the event just to give the car a wash and a clean maybe just uh give it a, a hand polish as you guys can see the car is extremely dirty uh, i haven't washed it in a while probably the previous event um so yeah the car is going to go on friday to him and then also at the event which is actually cool is that the guys um, that created the event um, does allow you to actually park your car on friday already so you just have to come saturday or bring yourself on saturday so that's kind of cool i am also going to give you guys a glimpse um on friday um maybe on instagram just to show you what the show will look like beforehand so you guys can maybe just um watch out for that
Okay guys, so I just returned from making um, the decals for the car like I mentioned in the rear and also I got these, I think it's called faddles or something I'm not quite sure the correct pronunciation but this will obviously clip over here to keep this tight for the fire extinguisher when I do drill these holes over here so it will basically um, clip and then basically just close like that that will then make the fire extinguisher spray um, I hope this is going to work however um, I do have another plan as well guys so off camera I did the one over here like I mentioned you guys should put the tape on then also I'd advise you guys to just fold over the tape so you have a bit of grip here because if you keep on here it's gonna stick to your finger all the time so this is the first one um, let's see what it looks like so it came up pretty good um, I just have to sand here in the corners um, in order for it to actually fit snug and also we are having a slight issue with footman as to where um, the fire extinguisher is going to go however uh, time is running up so I'm just going to put you guys up on the timers and do the rest of this guys so this is uh, the outcome this is what the outside basically looks like uh, I'm happy with what it looks like like I mentioned guys those clips I showed you guys how to fix it hope you guys can learn from that um, the one that broke I put it over there so it's just hiding behind um, the wiper over here uh, I might just remove the wipers just so that I can showcase what I've done for the event um, but this is what it looks like however um, I am having trouble with uh, the fire extinguisher, not quite sure where I'm going to put it yet. Um, I do have an extra cover like this, uh, if it is broken, uh, it would have kind of looked cool if it was right over here. Um, so that is the only issue right now. A few minutes later. Okay guys, so this is what we came up with. Um, I just pulled this car so the light is a bit better, now it is dark. There's not going to be much light. I hope you guys can see. Anyway, well, this is what I came up with. I'm going to remove, um, obviously, this over here. I plan on mounting it over here. My friend of mine uh, has another one for me as well. So this could easily be replaced as well. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole through here and then basically mount it right over here. Um, so yeah, this is basically where it's going to be. I was thinking of just double-sided taping the side but I think I'm going to just drill two holes over there and mount it that way um, I was thinking of also that the seat might not be able to go in properly and when if I remove um, the fire extinguisher I will be able to have more space in order for the seat to basically go in so it's going to mount right over here just need to get this panel off over there I'm gonna see if I can put you guys up on the time lapse if there's enough light
this is how I am going to mount it. Seems very secure. Uh, be in mind that uh, this I will be putting in a little pipe over here, which will obviously run um, to the driver and squirt onto the driver. But in the meanwhile, it's going to be like this. I can even maybe tilt it this way. It might even still catch me, so so maybe that just might work as well. But like I mentioned, I have a friend of mine that has a panel like this for me as well. So this is, um, it doesn't really matter if I do use this panel. I do have um, another one that I'm going to buy. But yeah, this is what it kind of looks like. It's kind of dark, so you guys won't be able to see me install it, but I'm going to just put up a time lapse of me installing this quickly. Guys, so it is almost quarter past nine. Uh, I did manage to actually finish um, the fire extinguisher or mounting the fire extinguisher. This is what it looks like. Um, it actually works as well. I'll show you guys in the morning. You see if I can do. If I can show you right now. I don't really want to press this because the paint is actually kind of still wet. She wanted to show you guys tomorrow, but there you guys can see it is working. Obviously, this is um, an empty fire extinguisher bottle. This is only basically for me to actually um, to mount, so I know how to do it. Or basically, when I do get the fire extinguisher, I just replace the fire extinguisher. Obviously, drill the two holes and put one of these on. These are about like two rand, so it's actually pretty cheap for that. Um, I'm very happy with the outcome, it looks pretty good. Um, only concern might be is that when I do put my seat in, um, this has to be removed and I maybe just have to relocate it. But I mainly drive with only one seat. Um, but yeah, in future, I do plan on putting the Ricardo, the Le Mans Confetti Ricardo seat as a passenger, and I'm going to get something more. Maybe something that's FIA approved or something more aggressive. So that is for future plans. But yeah guys, I am happy with the outcome. Hope you guys are too. If you guys do or did enjoy the content, please comment or mention something. Um, then also please guys, um, do like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.